Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, you guys, I told you I would start coming back and doing some of my art videos. I know I've been doing a lot of YouTube or a lot of uh, eBay, but I got my eBay going, and on the weekends I can especially get some other crafts in, especially like my art that I love to do. So, you guys, what I'm doing is I'm coloring today in the Anamorphia coloring book. I love this, and I've never colored in it, you guys. Can you believe that? Also, I have this one, too. Imagine Morphia. Okay. You guys, in fact, I want to do, let me know below. I'm going to, I think I'm going to do a, um, not I think, I am going to do a uh, color book just show and tell because I have an obscene amount of coloring books. I haven't colored, I, I, I paint and draw all the time, but I don't color my coloring books very often. So um, I need to have that so I can just, you know, kind of do a show and tell on my coloring book collection. So let me know if you guys want to see that below. Um, so, also, you guys want to see something really quick? I got the Jane Davenport, um, her, um, her art journal. Plus, I got all of her stuff, um, not all of it, but, uh, most of it, of her, uh, mixed media products. They're coming in the mail, and then I have, I bought half of them. I have been able to find the watercolor paints, which I'm really super, I gotta finish this one, which I'm really super perturbed about, um, but I'm on the prowl for those watercolor paints. That's like the main thing I wanted. But I bought a bunch of other stuff. But I bought two of these art journals. And I love them. I love the paper. I love everything about them. And I just want to show you guys my latest little creation. So this is my um, version of Pocahontas. Um, I'm going to do all, well, almost all. I'm going to try to do all the Disney characters um, this year because I've always wanted to do like a Disney character a month or a couple of Disney characters So this is my um, Tribute to uh, Pocahontas. So I think she turned out really pretty. I did um, I colored her up with um, a little bit of watercolor paints, but over that I did Prismacolor pencils over that um, I do have the Jane Davenport pencils, but I didn't use those um, Because I'm saving those you guys because I want to open them up with all of you guys. So I'm saving all my Jane Davenport stuff until it all comes together. And then I'll start doing Jane Davenport um, paintings and stuff. So um, the only thing I'm used of hers so far is the um, art journal. Um, this is acrylic paint. Then I took a uh, paint pen and did this in her hair. And then I took a um, Prismacolor pencil and went over the little paint. And that's how I got the highlights in her hair. This is all um, Diane Reevely, how I got the background, the colors. Isn't this so cool how it's all layered up, all cool? That's a lot of Diane Reevely's techniques with her. Um, well, I use some of her sprays. A Diane Reevely spray is this. But this is actual watercolors that I just had. Um, it's a mixture of her sprays and watercolors that I had. Daniel Smith watercolors, to be specific. Um, and then this is her stencil here that I used to do the lining of the whole thing. So I just think it came out really, really pretty. I was really, really excited. So just wanted to share that with you guys. It's not what we're doing now, but um, just wanted you guys to know I am into, totally into the, um, uh, what's her name? Davenport. Wait, her name's on the, <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. There we go, Jane Davenport. I have been in love with her art and her forever. I bought her book like two years ago. Love her. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start coloring in the Anamorphia. I've already gotten started, and I'm going to explain what I've done to get started. I just want to make sure I'm in frame. Okay, so what I've done is I have painted out the, uh, the background. So some things in here I didn't want, so I blocked them out with black paint. So I'm going to have this be like a little night scene. It'll have stars, shooting stars, a little planet will be right here. I've already started drawing in some um, type of smoke in here with my white pencil. And how I did this is I just took my pencil on the side and went like this. And then really, really did it again and really, really did it again. And then traced kind of around it and hug my pencil to the side so we don't get real harsh. And then just kind of follow that and then kind of swoosh this out here. Swoosh this out here, swoosh this out here, put a little circle here, and then again did the same thing right here, okay? You kind of just go out and then swished it, and then swished it out like that. 
Okay, then I took a little swooshing down here and went like that. Now, this will even look even better because I'm going to um, splatter a bunch of white splatter drops to look like stars, and they'll be shooting stars in here, and um, and there'll probably be some planets down in here. Maybe it, It's going to look really cool when we get to that part. Um, so what I did to black this all out is I just used some black acrylic paint, okay? And it doesn't matter that it's not perfect because you can see there like maybe a little white spot here or there where it's not perfect. It's fine because I'm going to shoot a bunch of white stars here and there's going to be planets in this black area and shooting stars and some wind going across so you don't have to be perfect with it. Where you can't get into the little crevices, then I used a jet pen. I used one of these, Faber Castell jet pen. To go into the little areas and stuff, I use that. Um, and you know what? Just a second. I will probably go back in here and retouch up this because um, when I use the um, watercolors, yeah, I'll probably go. I'll go back in here and touch all this up because when I use the watercolors here, it kind of splashed onto that part which probably won't matter either. So I'll probably go ahead and do all my shooting, all the stars, the shooting stars, all the planets, all that, and see if that matters. If it does, then I'll go ahead and go back in with this. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? Oh, okay. So what I did here now is I water-based, I used watercolor as a base. I think it's so much easier, you guys, if you base all your artwork with your lightest shade, like your highlighting shade, so I based it with just some cheap watercolors. I have Daniel Smith expensive ones, but for this, you're just, you're just giving a nice base, which is going to be your highlight color. So pick light colors, not dark, light, because you're going to build up to a darker color. You're going to you do your shading. But this is all your um, highlights right here already done for you. So I decided to do a owl that's purple, uh, lime green, and blue. I think that turned out this really pretty colors. So then I'm going to take my pencils, my Prismacolor pencils, and do the shading. So I got my Prismacolor pencils here to do my shading. And then I have a, um, a blender uh, pencil. Love this, you guys. I would totally highly suggest you guys get one of these. I got this one from Blix, but I also have some from Michaels, too, in their cra in their art section. They have these. They're cheaper at Blix, though, like $1.99. Anyway, well, if you use a coupon, it's not too much further from that price at Michael's. Okay, I have my cup of tea here, so you're going to hear me drinking tea once in a while. So, let's do the purple part. I already started it, but I thought I would um, get started and um, just kind of continue with you guys. So, um, I'm going to take and do purple right here on the side, on the outside. It's going to be my darkest color. And I try to, a lot of times, turn my pencil and lay it flat like this so that I don't bear down too hard. That I just do light layers because it, then it blends out better. It's going to blend out anyway because we have this uh, blender pencil, which really helps. Okay, and then next I'm going to switch to this color. Okay. And then we're going to leave that right there, that lighter color there, because that's going to be our highlight. Okay, and then I'm going to get my blender pencil and blend the darker color into this, the little bit lighter purple here. Okay. And then I'm going to blend this purple into the lightest purple. And then you just get a really nice really really nice shading that look pretty okay oh one other thing I want to share with you guys is you guys look at this I do not have to hand crank um, my pencils anymore my colored pencils or any of my pencils I got this it's orbit it actually has some steel blade or something in it and it stops for you um, so that you don't um, it stops for you. It knows when the pencil is sharp, so it stops right away, so you don't get any unnecessary sharpening, so you don't uh, take your pencil down to nothing. It's really, really awesome. I am in love with that. Love it. Um, I got that at, I saw them at Sam's Club, but that one I got at, um, oh, you guys, what's the other one? Um, 
I'm trying to think what the other one is. Um, there's Sam's Club and there's, oh, shoot, I can't think of the other one. You guys know what I'm talking about. Someone's going to say it in the comments. Um, I want to say Home Depot, but duh, Home Depot, Home Depot does not sell. Not sell anything like that. Um, let's go with the lighter purple now. But see how nice it is um, to have that uh, that base color down? Your lightest color, your highlight already down. It gives a nice base. The pencils go right over on top of it. You don't have to work so hard with um, with your pencils. Because you know a lot of times with your pencils, you have to keep light coat after light coat after light coat after light coat. Your arm can fall off by the time you're done with that. This way, that work is done. Really nice. Okay. Going to do right underneath. And you guys can already see, I already started some of the green there. How do you guys like the, the eyes? I did one blue eye and one purple eye. <laughs> I think it looks cool. Okay. We don't want to go down too far because I want to leave that highlight in the middle. Okay, so we just left a little bit of highlight in the middle, and I've kind of messed up and gone too far. Okay, here's another thing. You guys can you can erase with an eraser your um, your pencils. I don't know if you guys knew that. Isn't that nice to know? Okay, so let's bring this down here. There we go. I wanted to leave a little highlight right here. I was getting a little crazy where I didn't have any highlight left. Okay. And all I'm doing is blending everything together. Because what you normally would do is if you had these three colors, where's my other one? These three colors, you choose another really nice light color, like a really light lavender, and you could go over this whole thing with a light lavender, and that would blend the two colors together. But since I have this blender pencil, I don't have to do that. It's awesome. Okay. Continuing on. It's weird when um I'm used to use I'm used to uh, having music on or either having music on or I watch YouTube and usually I watch YouTube. So it's weird when I just have to talk my, to myself and make a video because <laughs> I'm used to having some YouTube on. Okay, I think that turned out really really pretty. Let me look in the camera and see what you guys are seeing. Yeah, that looks really, really pretty. Okay. So I'm gonna make sure this is all blending right into each other. Well. Yeah, that looks really, really pretty. Okay, so now we're going to go into here into let me check my camera and make sure we're still recording yeah we're still recording let's do the green okay so what I want to do here is take this deeper green On the outside and then take so I have this deeper green and then this color green that's my next color
And I even go right over the other, the deeper green, because it kind of helps blend that out too. Plus I'm gonna go with my blender pencil anyway. I know there's some people who don't believe in these blender pencils. They like just um, blending over and over and over with like, um, like you would get a really nice light, light green pencil and you could blend those two together and just keep doing lots and lots of layering. But I love that I can just take this blender pencil and um, make my job so much easier. But do what you enjoy doing. As Bob Ross said, there's no, there's no accidents. Okay, and then I'm going to take this green color here and go right. And like I said, I go kind of right over the darker green so that I can start the blending process between the two of them. Okay, then take my blender. This blender at Blix is only $1.99 a piece, I believe. Um, I thought I, I had misplaced these, so I just bought a bunch more blenders, and I didn't feel like going to Blix because it's not really it's, it's close, but Michael's is closer to my house. So last, last night I ran out cause, to get some more of these because I was down to nubs. And this morning, of course, I found the ones that I bought at Blix. But So at Blix, they're $1.99. And at uh, Michael's, you get two for like seven fifty. So I'm like, that is ridiculous. But then I used a coupon and I got it for three. I got a, used a coupon and I got it for like, I guess four or five dollars. So it almost came out to the same price. But if I didn't have a coupon, I was like, oh my gosh, that price is. It's a little much. Okay. So let's take our deeper color again. I'm trying to think if I want to hold my pencil like this. Yeah, I do. Just be careful that if you hold your pencil upright, just make sure you don't bear down. If I start feeling myself bearing down too much, I turn it to the side again. <laughs> because I am I am guilty of that. I like to get I like to get a lot of color on there. I'm kind of impatient. I like to see, I want to, I want to see results, <laughs> which is another reason why to put this base color down, you're going to see results a lot quicker. Do you guys see how I'm not having to work so hard? Because I already have a base coat down here that really, really helps so that you already have some, your cup, your base color laid down. So you're not having to try to get rid of that white paper. It's already gone and your coloring has already started. And you've already laid out what you're going to do. You've already made all your color decisions. All you do is pull out your pencils. It makes it a lot easier. Okay. So now let's... Blend those two together and blend that out. So when you're blending, you want to blend this color into this color. And then you want to blend this uh, lighter green, this light, lighter uh, lime color into the lightest lime color. So first you're blending your dark out into the lime color. Now you're blending the lighter lime color into the lightest lime color. Just wanted to make that kind of clear. Okay, and then I want to do this nose. There's some darkness right here on the nose already, so I'm just going to use my, like, see the dark lines? It kind of is telling you where the shading needs to go. So I put that in there right there. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to add my lime right here. And then the very tip, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to let that, uh, I'm going to let that tip be a little bit lighter right there. 
Okay. Oh, and you know what? Let's just throw that darker right there. Okay. Now I'm going to take my darkest green here and see all the little bits everywhere, like the little feathers. I'm going to start going over those, hitting all the feathers. I already hit some right there. Getting all of these little feathers. Sharp my pencil. You're really sharp pencil for this one. Okay. Make sure my camera's still rolling. What time are we at? We are at 20 minutes. All right. Making sure you guys can see everything still. Okay. All right. So like I said, we're just um, hitting all of these little, all these little hairs. And you don't have to get them all, but get a, you know get a good amount of them. Okay. Okay. And you know, I kind of, okay, see, I think, thank goodness I know about this, that you can erase your mistakes. I don't want to hit the green pencil there. I actually want to hit a deeper blue pencil here, right where the eyelashes are. See, these are eyelashes right there. I want to hit right here too. I want to use a purple. Hopefully I can use a purple right there and right here too. To kind of accent those eyes a little bit more. I'm going to hit a purple pencil on there. Um, so do we get everything there? Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, so next we're going to go into the this the body here with the green, with into this lime green again with these two colors again and the blender pencil. Let me make sure where my camera's at. Make sure you guys are seeing that well. Yeah, I think you guys are seeing that. We'll see if I can come in a little closer. Yeah, so here we go. Oh, that looks really cool on that face. Awesome. Okay, and we're not gonna I'm not gonna be able to finish this online today. So what I'll I'm just showing you the basis of how I got how I did this. I'll finish it offline. Um or off you know, off YouTube, but I will, I won't finish this black part until I come back on and we'll finish this together. So you guys can see, um, me doing the, the, um, like the space part in action. Um, you know, I told you I was going to do stars everywhere. There's going to be some moons, places, there's going to be stars out and through here. There's going to be shooting stars. There's going to be wind. And I want to show you guys that part. So that part I'll come back on with. So we we'll have about 20 more minutes and we'll do this part. Okay, just looking at how I'm going to do this. Okay. Okay, I am going to right now hit this here with some darker color here. Okay. And then we'll hit this with the with the next shade. And like I said, I like to go right over the last shade so I can start that blending process. Okay. 
Okay, so now let's blend those two colors together. So my head's not in the way. I thought about that. Sorry if my head was in the way for a second. That looks really cool. Okay. What I want to do is, I'm just trying to see how I want to do this. I want to hit some of these dark, these little feathers here with the darker green. Yeah, I see exactly what I want to do. Okay, so. Let me just shade that out a little bit more. All right, so what I want to start doing is right in through here where it should be darker. I'm going to start doing that. See the little crevices right here? Wherever you're going underneath something, that's where the shading's going to be darker at. So that's what I'm trying to do here is I'm just putting in all the darker right here. Okay. All right. Now, you know, I could treat this whole thing, shade the outside and then bring it all in, but I think it's gonna look a lot cooler to go ahead on this part and do it like this. Take the time to do each feather. And then blend it out here with the little bit lighter green, going right over the darker green. And not all the way, don't fill the entire feather. Leave some light, leave some of it light right here, because that'll be your highlight. Okay. And then let's take our pencil, blend that out, blend that into the green, blend that out into that. Some feathers are really, really small, so when you blend it out, you almost... It's barely hard. It's hard to leave a little bit of highlight left, but that's not a big deal. Um, I am going to take here and just kind of come in here with this. Okay. Okay. Hope I'm close enough that you guys are seeing all this. Okay, I'm just gonna check my camera to make sure you guys are seeing. I'm gonna bring you guys down a little bit more. There we go, that's better. Okay, so what I was saying is, whenever you're, these little, um, right here in these little, um, uh, whenever you're underneath something, that's where the darkest shade is going to be happening. So we have all of that. All these little nooks and crannies right in through here, right in through there. See all these nooks and crannies? That's exactly where the darkness goes, like right in through here. And and that's a, that's, um, a big tip for when doing shading. You're always like, how do you know where the dark goes? Underneath something, that's where the dark goes, okay? 
or you know that's always where there's always shade you know if you go like this it's darker underneath my hand right same thing here okay when I learned that I was like oh okay that makes things a lot easier when I understand that concept Okay, now we're going to go in with the lighter green. Go with the lighter green here. I'm going over some stuff I already went over just to kind of blend it out a little more. Let's go in with our darker color again. Start getting in those nooks and crannies again. Wait a minute. Okay. This one we need to come down a little bit further. And this one we need to come down a little further too. Okay, we're gonna go down a little further here. Okay. Okay, now let's go in with our green. And that one I got a little heavy handed right there. Aren't you guys happy that you can erase pencil? Isn't that the coolest news? And you erase that you erase that uh, waxy buildup. So you know when you get that waxy buildup, you can't um, you can't add any more color or blend it out. Um, so that's why it's nice if you get heavy handed like I did, that you can. You can use your um, eraser and erase that. Your heavy handedness really, really helps. Okay, so let's blend all that together. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that you can blend, you can erase colored pencil. I mean, I'm sure there's people who have said it, but I don't know. I kind of had to learn that one on my own, that I could erase the colored pencil. I was like, well, why didn't anybody tell me that I could erase the pencil? Okay. And, it, and I like it because it removes that wax buildup. Okay. There's some other things to deal with here, and we'll deal with those in a second. They're not, um, they're not leaves anymore. They're little, 
in this Anamorphia, he likes to hide little things. Like, see these little characters? He likes to hide these little characters. I'm not a huge fan of those little characters. Like, when I blacked a lot of this out, I blacked a lot of those characters out. <laughs> but I shouldn't say that because it's like, I think that's, you know, he likes those little characters. <laughs> They're all throughout the whole book, so. Okay, so I'm putting a little, in, in this little swirly right here, I'm putting a little dark on this side, a little dark here. A little bit of the lighter color here and a little lighter color here. And then blend them together and you'll blend them right into the lightness. And there'll be a little highlight right in the middle. Uh, we'll do another one. Let's do this whole section of those right there. And on this one, there's not too much room, so I'm not going to do it to both sides. I'm just going to take the dark here, lighter here, and then blend them out. Same thing with this one. A little dark there. Blend it on out. This. And blend it with my pencil. And see, we left a little highlight right there. Then these little characters. How do I want to deal with these? Okay, there's some darkness right here anyway. So we're going to just let that be dark. Bring out some light here. And blend that on up. Okay. Same thing with this one. This darkness down into here. We'll take our green color, a lighter green. And we'll blend this up. Okay, um, let's see how I want to do this same thing here. And there's also some dark in through the here too. Okay. So we'll throw in some lighter here. I really don't like having to deal with these little guys. I'd rather just um, be doing leaves, but they're here, so <laughs> you got to deal with them. But it's kind of cool that he draws these little guys, and he does it in such a natural way that you could hide them into these feathers, and it, you know, it looks cool. Let me erase that because I want to leave that highlight in the middle. There we go. So that turned out cool. Uh, let's just... Okay. Hope we can get back to some leaves. Oh, right here, there's some more of this. So we will... Put some dark here. Okay, and then we'll take the lighter color here, 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 here. All right, take our pencil, blend all this out. So see that looks pretty cool thing. There's your highlight there, highlight there, highlight there. Okay. Hopefully we can get back to doing some leaves. Okay, or not leaves. What am I saying? Feathers. <laughs> leaves. What the what am I talking about? Okay, um these feathers here, a lot of the dark is um is done for you. So it just kind of start following 
where the dark is. Okay. And I'm starting to also get back into little nooks and crannies where there would be darkness right here. But at the same time, you can add a little dark feathers. All right, let's go in here with some green. Isn't that so cool? You guys look at that. Love that. And then just feather it out a little bit like that and bring that on out. Look how cool that is. And it stops right where it needs to stop at so it doesn't over sharpen your pencil. It's like the best. So where, the, where I just put that dark green in, I'm going right over it and out from there to kind of blend that out. Okay. I better make sure that you guys are still seeing me. Oh, I was working where you couldn't see. Sorry. Okay, there we go. It's like, how far out am I getting? Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of green in here. So it's just the same thing over and over and over and over and over. And let's blend this out. You guys, isn't this, I just love this blender pencil. This blender pencil is everything. Okay. Okay, and then scoop out a bit, a little bit of yellow out, or yellow, lime green, and then blend those two together. Okay. All right, right into here, do a little here. Okay, I'm trying to see what this is. All right, doesn't matter. It's not a feather, it's some other little creature. He fills, he, he makes it look like there's a bunch of feathers and in between the feathers he puts like little things. Like look, that's a skull right there. So every time you get to something else, you're like, oh. Let's go do that skull right there. Make sure you guys are seeing that skull right there. Okay. <clears throat> I'm telling you guys, it's so much easier if you use watercolors. Cheapy set of watercolors for just giving a base coat. It plans out your piece. It also gives you a head start on your coloring. 
Um, it patterns it all out so you know what you're doing. It gives a base coat so you don't have to work so hard when you're painting. Um, and it gives you your highlight already. So look at just buying this at Michael's. And this is like, with a coupon, maybe five bucks or something, six dollars. Dirt cheap. And look at all the colors. Now, you don't want to go crazy with the water when you do this. I mean, you are water coloring it. Your pages are going to buckle a little bit, but not too bad. Um, but don't get the paper. It's not like it's watercolor paper. Not like you can do a wet on wet technique. So, you know, brush over once. Don't keep going over and over and over or you put a hole in the paper. Um, but I love this technique. Love it. Okay, let's go through this skull. Go over all the dark areas here first. Okay. All right, we're getting short on time on my camera, so I'll finish up this skull. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to leave that. I'll finish up this skull and, um, in this video here and then I'll do a second video like I'll do a part two and I'll show you guys how to do this part so just be looking for that look be looking for the uh, part two on this whole thing this is so small right here I don't want to touch those Okay. And we'll blend it all out. Okay, so we'll stop there. I'm going to finish all this up, and you guys look for the part two. Um, I'll probably just title it Finishing Up the um, Owl in the Anamorphia. Um, finishing Up Coloring the Owl in the Anamorphia. So look for that video. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I won't do this part so you guys can see that. So you guys can see how I'm coloring. It's the same It's the same thing, technique I'm, gonna, I'm using here that I'm going to use here and here and here on the rest of it. So, All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.